Hey folks, welcome back. Grand Finals Game 2 about to get underway. Fly to Moon versus Gambit. We're here at the Homburg Invitational. Rather, GG Bets Homburg Invitational. We're with Maincast, Kyle, Lizard. Game 2, after Game 1, it does feel like Gambit certainly are the better team. But if you're Fly to Moon, how do you bounce back? Um, if you're... That's an easy question, very easy question. Like, you just pick some cheese, you find a way to squeeze in a brood mother or a meepo or something similar, and uh, that's how you win. Mm. Also, I hear noises in my head. Do you? No, sometimes. Like, sometimes I hear voices in my head, but I just tell them, not today. You know, crazy thing, right? Um, so Dear God. <laughs> yeah. So, you know schizophrenia, right? Uh huh. Apparently, in... Western countries, so obviously, like you have certain it's more common. hallucinations. No, no, no. Um, Definitely, the voices that you would hear um, are a lot more ominous and scary, right? Really. And in the Eastern, uh, like in Asia, they they tend to be like more helpful and kind. Helpful Crazy. and kind. Google voices. it. I'm telling you, I'm not making this up. And the idea, of effectively, we're just probably meaner in the West, or we have more fear, perhaps. I have no idea. But yeah, it's really cool. The brain is wild. Um, we still don't really fully understand it. What the voices? Just like we don't really understand the drafts. Yeah. That what we see do in these voices need to tell Fly to Moon <laughs> so that they can win? Hmm? Do you have some? Oh, undying is a good way to start things off. They're in between the east and the west, after all, right? That's true. Yeah. Yes. So perhaps they can. I don't know. Perhaps they can get this undying going for them. But life still picked into it with the Night Stalker, Shaker, and the Maiden. We see another XS Vampire Shaker, most likely. It was pretty good in that last match. Life Stealer again versus the Centaur is just a good counter pick on the lane. And after it, obviously, you just heal up so fast. Slark, oh, however, there pick. we go. That's the pick indeed. A hero with increased night vision, nice against the Night Stalker, and you go toe to toe against the how Life Stealer nice, quite well. How nice is it considering there's AoE silence? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. It used to be really great, but right now with the AoE silence, I'm not so certain. Then you have the Shaker as well. Okay, you're right. I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> but but it is one of those heroes that can solo carry you the game if you give it into the right hands, right? So if Arc Dotes, Arc Dotes is really good on Slark, maybe he can solo carry this. You never know. Undying will, with that Tombstone will help out when it comes to Vision. Also pretty decent when it comes to breaking those blink daggers most importantly for that shaker hmm. Hmm, indeed i love the monkey king ban again yeah, one of my ban. uh it's, it's like a common thing in uh in dota 2 like the higher levels captains you know if you if you're between bands just take out something that they've played before take yeah. out what they've won with you know don't let them develop that rhythm with winning heroes Last band coming out for Fly to Moon. Gambit still with their full reserve time, minus 11 seconds. So they got plenty of. Uh, Usually these stacks, like that have just recently formed, right? These new stacks, they don't have a whole lot of strategies. Yeah. They have just a couple of ones that they've trained to perfection, and uh, you take out one piece out of that strategy and it crumbles. So banning out heroes such as. Uh, Monkey definitely do make sense, and Razor now picked up, all right. Only issue is the lack of tower push. You're going to need Centaur to get ahead. Something Boxy brought up at TI that I agreed with was how when you're playing Centaur, you really never want to be involved in fights. You want your team to play away from you. You stampede and if you necessary, push. and you just push. Yeah. You tank the tower, then you pop retaliate and hit the tower. And if mm. you can take out two by 12 minutes, you've done your job. You, you can give your stampede to the Razor as well. So he moves a bit faster with that link versus the Nikes or the Night Stalker. Even the Shaker is pretty good. You know, but this Razor can be countered now. It's a pretty interesting Viper game if you want to go that route. Just because I've seen it recently, you remove tons of passives here. Really nice against the Razor to have a BKB piercing disable. But you want a Slark counter. What is that? Hmm. Ember would be okay, but it's a real weak laner. You can't pick Void for obvious reasons. Quop would have been nice, of course, but it's yeah, banned Quop out. Quop is banned out, yeah. You could here. puck, but that hero seems pretty weak under the circumstances. Don't you? Do you storm? It's a pretty nice storm game. You could. They don't really have a lot of catch versus him. The leash is kind of different now, as you can't pull lightning away, but uh, that's pretty much it. And it's good with 
the Nikes, but I have a feeling they won't go that way. Let's see what they get for GPK. He is one of those players. He does play these flashy meters, such as I storms. want it that way. I want yeah. the storm. You yeah. and you get it. You got it that way. Yeah. It's just the win condition. It also you need Emir's banned. Like all these other catch heroes are mm. banned, right? You need something that can capitalize on the Night Stalker's vision advantage. It's an extra delivery for Life Stealer. It's mixed damage, and you utilize the CM Aura. You have a Shaker. You're gonna be fighting against the Razor. Mm -hmm. They go with the Storm Spirit. It's it's just the uh, yeah. You have the Nikes as well to jump into you. It's not so easy for Slar to take you down. I'm just worried, like, what do you think about this lane? Is it going to be easy for the Storm, or is Shaker going mm. to have to be the one that breaks that lane apart? Or the Storm just goes into the jungle, right? And it, it doesn't that. really matter. That's what I mean. Yeah. Like, you don't have the ability to pressure Storm too easily because none of your cores really rotate, right? Slark's going to farm, Centaur's going to farm, Razor, sure, win the lane, perhaps, mm -hmm. but... How much do you get off of Who that? Who goes into the jungle to, like, mm. kill him? You have a Shadow Demon. Rotate. So you basically have a Razor and the four... Razor and the three other boys rotating across the map while Slark gets... We still gonna go for drums. Diffu or Midas Diffu, what do you think? This uh, game around. I think it's gotta be drums. I think to win this game, you're gonna have to play fast. You have huh. to play really fast around the map. I drums do help with that. Once you pop them, yeah, you move you're around, on a around the map. Storm Life Stealer will outcarry Razor and, Li and Slark. And that's why I like the Storm, because it gives you that win condition. You're not in any hurry now, and Gambit have demonstrated that they are quite adept at delaying a game until they are in that powerful position. I just have a feeling that they need this Lark to win them the game. That they yes. picked it as a hero, like, here you go, what do you want? What hyper carry do you want? Slark? All right, we're going to give the Slark to you, we're going to play around with Razor, create space, yeah, I agree. hopefully you win it. And for that to happen, you can't really win it in the mid game. Mm -hmm. Like, you need to go late. Speaking of the mid-game, this is the middle of the Grand Finals. Game two, Gambit, they win this. They take it, and they're going to Germany. I feel like I've said that a lot. It's weird doing the whole, like, throws and stuff. You what? never notice. You never know. Maybe someone just joined the chat. You know, someone That's just joined true. the stream, so you have to keep them informed so they know what's up, what's on the line. That's true, because we, oh, Google is real complicated. Yeah, it's, like, it's hard to Google stuff. Hard to find out yeah. stuff. Shout like, out to the folks, by the way, at Liquipedia, man. They do, uh, they do so much. Shop, you yeah. it, they're probably a better source for information regarding Dota than like most TOs websites. Like, they had a better <laughs> schedule <laughs> than <laughs> Valve did. They're, they're, for they're, TI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they have better information than the persons like giving that information when you ask them in real life. But like the, the schedule that I was checking for this tournament was actually on Liquipedia. Mm -hmm. Like we got, <laughs> we got the schedule. We become a little reliant on <laughs> yeah. them. Like we got the schedule in our chat, but I still went to Liquipedia to check it one yeah. more time. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, shout out again to those guys. Congrats. Flo does have those three stacks of Retaliate here and uh, Undying by his side. Together with Shisui that just rotated here. Uh, so... This Razor is still going to be the mid hero, but uh, he's just showing up to secure these bounty runes on the top lane. Let's see what happens here. Radiant zoning everyone from everywhere. Gambit going to have some difficulties acquiring any kind of bounty Will runes. Will they take any bounties? That's the question, yeah. No, they won't. This oh. is uh, the undying factor. Ooh, Orb of Venom and a shield. FNG, how are you doing, buddy? He's not doing too well. He's taking a bunch of damage here. I like that. You get two hits, too. <laughs> as long as... Oh, now it's a tri lane right now. They're starting that way. And always want to fly. Says, nah, bro. I'm going to go back down bottom. She's with a very short link, but still smell nice. damage away. Yep, as you can see, odds, as always, in favor of Gambit to be expected. Hmm. Denies the archer. This, is, this will be fine. I actually think this benefits GPK because the lane now goes under tower. So as long as he doesn't get a huge link, mm -hmm. he'll have uh, the ability to CS quite freely here. And this is perfect for him. Yeah, basically, Razor is just too worried with the tower damage, right? Yeah. So he can't really contest GPK exactly. or chase him. Oh, does get that good denied there. And this is where... Shisui might have a slight advantage as he can just run in and link him. But he has to be careful so that he doesn't take too many hits mm -hmm. from the tower. 
did exactly that. On the top lane, Flow is taking a lot of damage. But Slayer is around. They can set up a kill on this Crystal Maiden with the disruption into the Stomp double de ledge quite easily. So FNG has to be careful when it comes to his positioning here. I really like both drafts this game. Mm. I don't know about Razor. Razor always seems like one of those heroes that it's either completely, it, it's probably one of the ones hated most by fans of a team, right? Because you never see your team win when they pick it up. FNG, wow, gets smacked. Called it just a second ago and FNG instantly gets caught, sadly. Jinxed him a little bit there, I guess. Gets caught with that disruption, but it's such an easy play to make on this lane. Then again, Dream is farming. He has 4 CS versus the 7 on the Centaur. Not great, but he's getting there. GPK does get that double damage, but Slayer is around. And the Courier... Oh! He might get a kill here on Shisui, actually. Is he blocked? He is. He is and yeah. GPK... He's got a DD. He's going to get him. Oh, wait. Well. Oh, 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 gotta be careful. One more hit. Nice. He does get him. One for one, but of course, no experience going the way of the Storm. Yeah, Shisui winning that one. But considering it was the storm that was attacked first by the two heroes, it's all right. Yeah, being back in, has the boots first, trying to ensure that he can escape the link. Unfortunately, it's a lot easier said than done. Yeah, 50 <laughs> damage stolen. The snooze taunt, because it's... Uh, because he can't do anything anymore. He can just go and sleep a little bit till that uh, blink is broken. Yeah, dream, continuing to free farm. Hard to pressure him as a centaur. Slark doing the same down the bottom lane. All in all, relatively passive game. We're going to see more of the same from Gambit, I feel. They, they, they have the late game advantage, not early. Does have that stomp to work with, but because of the rage, he actually has to go back. However, that lane is pretty easy for centaur right now, as he already got the ring. Once you get the ring, the lane becomes simple. They go on you, you go back, you heal up in a matter of seconds. Oh, Ooh, look for the block there. That would have put him in tower range. Yeah. Doesn't what is that? Why do they glow? What is that? It's uh, something with the... Is it the compendium or... What is it? I think it is. Or Dota Plus. Uh, compendium or Dota Plus. Something like that. How can you not know? I don't know. Thought you buy all of this stuff, man. No? GPK goes into the jungle. Farms away the centaur. But he's really, really low. And that region that looks so juicy and nice isn't going to be picked up by him as Razor might even dive. Excess Vampire right here. He's thinking about it. Ah, Tranquils get completed and he gets out of range. Pretty yeah. good by him. Dream taking a little bit of pressure up top. Gonna get disrupted. Centaur closing in. Will they be able to get the body block? Answer no. no. Dream manages to get away. But look at all those creeps in tower, man. This is really unfortunate. He'd love to be able to TP up there because he's losing so much XP. Mm -hmm. Nice rage. Yeah. He just wants to get to that tower as soon as possible to continue farming. Shachlow is giving a lot of stacks to this Slark, so he has to be careful. He's just dead here, for sure. Arc Dota with nine stacks and one permanent stack now. Feeling pretty good on that lane. And when it comes to CS, he's on top of the charts they are, as well. They're 2k ahead, five minutes in. And a lot of that could be, this will be the second time as well. They get all five bounty runes, or all four bounty runes. Four rather. bounty runes and perhaps a shaker on top. Mm. The leash does not connect, but he can still continue chasing him. He has phase boots to work with. Uh, he decides not to. He's yeah, like, not worth uh, it. I can go back and farm. I don't need to chase this guy. Yeah, they're doing really well. They're two, 3k ahead at the moment, but uh, remember that the Storm is in the jungle, just farming while Razor is dominating mid. Uh, 8 CS ahead, Razor, as well. You want to try and get tower pressure. That's the key here. 4 Fly to Moon. Want to try and choke the map a bit for this dire side. She's trying invading the jungle as we speak. And will he kill FNG? Yes, he no. will escape safely. <laughs> <laughs> He gets to the fountain just in the nick of time and survives. It's still a good invasion of that dire jungle as you're able to make that storm suffer. What Shadow Demon was doing there besides warding is leeching the experience mm -hmm. from the storm as he had vision on him. So he was just sitting and uh, preventing him from getting that level six. Yep. An well, offensive glyph too, mm -hmm. just to apply even more pressure. 
Excess Vampire trying to get always want to fly away from here. But these uh, Fissure Blocks have not been too successful right now. However, with this Lost. one, they might get him, but they're running away. And ah, he didn't manage to fire that one last decay. That would give him a lot of HP. Well, they glyph, but is it in deny range yet? It looks like it. It, it might be, wants but to FNG, yeah, he's rotating get the catapult. No, we didn't. What are they going to do here? Is it going to die in time? Hang on. Stun. Block. They might actually be able to pick off this Razor. Nice uh, uh, solver from the Undying, but he's still huh. dead. Really good block from Vampire. That's a huge kill. And, and the it'll deny. secure the deny. Yeah. Yep. That's a really good play. Um, you can see sometimes that a, a player is really eager to take down a tower, even though he shouldn't be. He should just be satisfied yep. with the fact that you got the tower and back out. He gets punished there, and the tower gets denied. Yeah, Shacklow suffering. It's the one real downside of Gambit's uh, gameplay so far. But really, there's not much he can do. He was safe lane against, what was it? It was an Undying and a Slark. I mean, you, how are you supposed to trade when you just have stat after stat stolen from yeah. you? Not, not really a lane that you can be in. Luckily for him, uh, it's a nice stalker, and you can always find uh, some use of this hero on the map, be it uh, AoE, silence, or the night time, you know, just giving vision and impairing vision on, on the enemy team. Life still are moving towards that Midas with the phases. This time around, it does not have to be that uh, right click build, but it's still good having that right click build to together with the storm. The problem is you're playing into a razor. And can be problematic not to have any damage output at all if he links you right. You are indeed correct, my friend. Hmm. Just trying to think. Like, how does how does Gambit like utilize their advantage? I, they, they, you can just rotate around the map, but they, I think Fly to Moon are in a dangerous spot in the sense that. They can only really make moves by pushing, and that's behind the Centaur or the Razor. It's hard for them to find kills. It's, it's like a disrupt. That's it. Mm -hmm. Maybe a stampede and run at people. But Gambit, they just want to buy time, but they're going to need to defend these objectives eventually. Our only nine minutes in the game, already two down. Yeah, they need that defusal on Slark if they want to really catch targets. But before that, they will be satisfied by just taking objectives, obviously, as you're uh, yeah, a making, it, making the map. They're also Much difficult slower. to kill as well. High mobility on all three cores and high HP pools. They're still chasing though. Shashlo is still there with the nighttime. He's really fast and they do see flow, so this might be a kill for them. They'll fly over. Tombstone down though. You gotta be careful. Gambit heavily rotating up here. Nice job from Dream. Just infesting to heal up, then going back into the jungle. Shashlo kills the tombstone, yeah. continues to try and fly. <laughs> He's stuck. He's Help stuck, him. but he sees them and they don't see him. So because of that, he'll be able to go back, grab that TP scroll, scout out flow, and then fly over the trees back to safety. I guess it's pretty hard to be stuck as a Night Stalker as he's literally flying away. TPK using this opportunity to get himself some of the Radiant jungle camps. Yeah, but when you look at the network, all three cores of Radiant are above the cores of Dire. Doing really well so far. Will they finally get a bounty rune is the question. Gambit trying. Nice job by Dream. He doesn't have a beak or a port, but he does have face boots, so he will be able to escape unscathed. So much damage stolen from him, and Shisui just continuing to chase him. But Shisui, you need to chill. Like, this guy, he does so many good plays, but he steps, like, over the border a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Like, he pushes it a bit too far and gets punished so many times. But sometimes those kind of players... Uh, do evolve the most and become the best because they always try to reach it's, that limit. I love how they're playing on the center. This is exactly what we discussed, right? He just gets the Vanguard, starts tanking towers. You don't want to play uh, with your squad necessarily. You always want to be pushing down these objectives. So already three towers taken. Always want to fly. Will Tome going to be maxing out that tombstone, I'd imagine. Drums are going to be completed on the Slark. Did he just eat the Tome and he's still level five? That's just sad. Sad life for the Undying. Hmm. 
Let's see here. Centaur is frostbitten here, and he might try to go on FNG, but FNG is pretty tanky with that raindrop. While Dream tries to go on the Centaur, and oh, big here zip comes towards. Yeah. Gonna find the Centaur. In fact, there is no, not quite enough damage. Dream, that damage drain from him might have actually Slarks prevented the kill. Yeah, and now the Dream is dead. The Dream is dead indeed. The Shisui goes forward. There is the Fissure, and it's a Lots good one. Damage. Shisui one might more. fall. Oh, yeah. what a player. You just you said it yourself just before. There's one flaw. He plays a little too aggressive. Really well done by GPK, though, to turn it around. Excellent and stun again shaker, by Vampire. Yeah. yeah. A lot of space bought for the Night Stalker up top, but still, it's all fly to moon. They're just dominating this early portion of the game. Yeah, and the Nyx, he dies right there. It's the hero that definitely needs to scale as well as possible for the side of Gambit to win this match. And uh, he just falls so easily with the Razor Link there. Also being a little bit too aggressive, trying to take down that uh, Flow Centaur, who does escape with just like 5% HP. GPK gets that in with Rune, moves back. They're going to smoke too. That was just away from the ward. Are they really going to go for the Centaur though? Is that the player you want to target? He's so far away from anyone and he doesn't have that Stampede, so uh, you might have enough damage to take him down. Let's see. AoE Silence is so there. Tanky. Very, very tanky, but not tanky enough, I believe. Crystal Maiden not even involved in that whole engagement. They give it to the storm. I think that's important. Here comes the rotation from Fly to Moon, but this is going to be in time. Shaq was like, hey guys, there's people here. We need to get the hell out. FNG moving towards the left side shop. Should be able to TP if he gets enough time to get yeah, out of here. 20 seconds. He still doesn't even have boots. Just a stick and wind lace. 13 minutes in. Life of a position five. By the way, this is the first game in which I see G Gambit being completely dominated like early on. Yeah, they're making some plays, but 3K below. Uh, their enemies, like the Knights, hey, is struggling. They're doing a great job. All that gold is towers, keep in mind. Mm. And they've evened up the kill score. Sure, they're outmatched at the moment, but that whole time, you know, they made a kill with three players. That's my favorite number to gank with because it leaves two to collect gold and XP in the other two ways, and, and that's exactly what they did. Also remember all the bounties were taken by yeah. Light to Moon, so there's that as well. And the Blink Dagger is almost completed on XS Vampire, oh. unless he dies here. Let's see, Arc Oats with the Stampede moving forwards. They're just going in, like seriously deep. I do not know if this is the move here, but Flo, he will find the Earthshaker. That's going to be a nope, stack for the script. Oh my god. TP from Shackshot. Like, look at it. It's beautiful. And up top, FNG pushing yeah. the creep wave. Bottom, look, Storm pushing the creep wave, you know? This this is Fly to Moon. They learned from their last game. You've got to apply more pressure. You have this early mid-game lead. The problem is... You have no Gambit catch. Are, are aware. And as, yeah, you have Razor, Centaur, Slark. You, you just don't have catch yet. You need that diffusal, I believe, on Slark. And, and he's building towards it. He's getting it. But once you have it, it becomes much easier. Right now, however, these moves are bound to fail. Yeah, and I don't know if I agree with the odds. I would still say Gambit favored in this match, even though they are suffering. But I, I just, I'm still going to st say the same thing. It's all on Slark. Like this Razor, they will jump him with the Storm, with the Nikes infested, and they will blow him up in a couple of seconds. It does not matter what's... It, okay, the Shadow Demon might come in handy there with a couple of saves, but still, I don't see Shisui just doing so much later on, especially with this build. He's building into a Natos. Uh, that's him realizing that they need catch, that they cannot do anything but stampede in like morons and just run after mm -hmm. the enemy. And because of that, it's so easy for Gambit to run away and set up a trap. Oh, as we say that, they're going right in for Flow. Storm gets slept on. He can't get out just yet, but he doesn't need to. Look at FNG. Oh, oh, good. Vampire. oh my God. He just slam dunked Fly to Moon's chances of winning this tournament. And... Uh, that's a terrible metaphor. He just dunked on them. Well, keep it simple. Just keep it simple. Also, like Storm just said, I love this part. He loves the part in which his shaker gets the dagger. And it's so simple for them init to initiate. I have to repeat, for Flight to Moon, they just have the stampede to work with. And that's it. They pop the stampede and they try to run in. And it works for the first, let's say, 10 to 12 minutes. But once that Shaker gets the Blink Dagger, he's hiding somewhere in the trees. You stampede on the same target. You're all there, clumped up together. Perfect situation for a Shaker to uh, respond with that echo and a dunk. Shaq low and some trouble. It is nighttime. AoE silence. Yeah, you can't stop that. Oh, guys. FNG closing in. 
They are going to hunt here for certain. Disruption utilized. Slayer now in a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. It's going to get rooted. Shacklow is going to be able to finish off. Did Vampire get also, a block off? I think he did on the back side there. Yep. Yeah. Dude, this Earthshaker player is unbelievable. And GPK, like this this kid is nuts. And GPK oh. and Shaker, right? Excess Vampire and this uh, Storm are doing so much in this match already. I love it. Yeah, and this, remember, GPK, if you guys are tuning in for the first time on this championship Thursday, was one of the most highly recruited new players in this last TI shuffle. Um, I know for a fact at least four CIS organizations made offers to him. He went with Gambit, of course, and the, the man FNG. And he, he is showing what he's got. He's like 17 years old. Oh, the defusal whiffs. I just love the fact that FNG just formed a stack, you know, out of all the new players. Old Gambit disbanded. He forms a new stack, joins the qualifier, doesn't drop a game. Hey, it's uh, assuming they win here. It's not over yet, but... It's not over yet, but still, like, even if they, like, somehow manage to lose this one and the next game, it's still quite a commendable performance. Yeah. He's, like, had sole possession of that second-best CIS captain mm -hmm. for what feels like a half Forever, a decade. Forever, yeah. Oh, oh Courier falls. Easy kill for Shashlo there. Yeah, he was forced to pop the darkness, but he does not mind. I don't know. Like, this Atos on Razor... Uh, if it got, if he got it a bit earlier, and you're able to be aggressive and use that Atos to catch Storm and kill him off, great, perfect pickup. But right now, I think they're forced it's to be late. a little bit more defensive. You know, like and you hey. need that use or the BKB. Like always, want to fly. He'd love to have a Blink Dagger or a Shadow Blade or a Glimmer Cape, something, but he can't. Yeah, and Shisui, you. look, is he this, turns. This is a play. Dream in trouble. Does he have TP? He does, but it's not happening. Wow. Oh, they got him. That's gonna be two kills. Yes. Also, yeah, Slark joining the fight has four permanent stacks now. With that defusal, it becomes oh. a little bit easier to catch them and fight them off. I don't know if you want to utilize the smoke right now anymore, considering you just lost two heroes. It's better to chill, wait, but you might run into them as they're smoking up too. I like this from Flight to Moon. I like this a lot. They got this defusal and also Blink Dagger on Slark. They are realizing what their draft Needs Ooh. desperately, and they're Shacklo working sees on them it. first. Increased night vision. Mm -hmm. Slark is aware as well. GPK, oh, he's oh, in trouble. Yep, stun. Leash, he's just gone. That's an unstoppable streak ended by Slayer. 500 gold goes his way. And blink on Centaur now, too. They've got finally some sort of real initiation, and this is when the punishment can begin. Still a slight lead for Fly to Moon, but you got to be cautious about that Earthshaker. He's already punished them. Twice, once last game, once this game. Want to make sure it doesn't happen again. I'm going to look to push middle, perhaps? There is a tier three exposed, but no, I'm just going to go towards top. They've got a great ward behind towers. They will see Shacklo. They will see him, and they can catch him for sure. Atos is there. No Ark Dota with the leash and the defusal. But Shacklo, a little bit too speedy, pops that AoE silence and just runs away, considering uh, Storm is up any second now. Yep. Fly to Moon, they should be very careful about the way they position themselves. Yeah, the one big thing for Fly to Moon, though, is that this Life Stealer has next to no game. And that's yep. even without the link, right? How, who is he supposed to deal damage to? All these heroes are so tanky. He has to deal with the BKB piercing slow from the Shadow Demon, the link. There's, like, no item he can buy that makes him feel good. And Slark is pretty good versus him when you mm -hmm. talk about that. You know, like, all these plays have been made by the Storm and the Shaker so far. They dominated super hard, but if you if you <coughs> talk about position ones, that Slark and the Nikes, Nikes is definitely struggling while Slark is doing super well. But they just have to uh, find a way to jump on that Razor and take him down with Storm and Nikes. And after that... Or meanwhile, someone has to deal with the Shadow Demon as well, so there's no saves. Another uh, smoke. They might the deal with the Shadow Demon right now. Indeed, they go straight for him. He pops the Stampede. They might survive, looking to escape. Does we'll survive for now. Uh, his Tombstone goes down, but is this really where you want to fight if you're Fly the Moon? They're just stuck. Oh, oh my god, another dunk from Vampire. Forces the Slark away, and now Shisui. Razor just stuck. They're going to get everybody here, too. Still a Tombstone. Tons of zombies running loose, but Shackle now with the AoE Silence. That blink, man. The blink on Night Stalker. So good in this game. Because it means Vampire doesn't need to be the one delivering the life stealer, right? Shacklow mm. goes in, immediately the infest bomb, but you still have that that 
end all be all counter initiation card. Mm -hmm. The dunk in your pocket, and he came through big. FNG as well, almost a full duration ultimate. It was pretty good. Almost killed Slark right there on the spot, sadly for them. Uh, Slark gets out a little bit, but still dies to the nice locker. AoE silence with that link. It's so good to have that hero that catches Slark. Also, having extra vision versus Slark is very important, preventing him fr from regening all the time, too. But, yeah. They have so many ways of engaging and starting these fights for Gambit. It's really good that they aren't one-dimensional. One dimensional. It's not like Nyx has to go into Storm and Storm jumps in, right? Mm -hmm. As you just called it. It's Night Stalker. It's Shaker. Either one of those three heroes can be a vessel for this Nyx. Suddenly, Nyx and Storm are on top of the network charts. You know, just one, two fights and Nyx is back. 22 minutes, 3K gold lead for Gambit. For those of you at home, this is the grand finals. <laughs> Great board, doesn't work. FNG yeah. also gets leashed there. This should be an easy kill for Ark, though. Let's see, is Slayer nice? is there. Oh no, Vampire. He tried to be the hero one too many times. He's almost certain to fall. Can't even blink away. There's too many damn zombies on his tail. Ark Dota, double kill, double stack steal. Tombstone has been used there, but it's a it's a great pickup for them to kill those two supports. You can't really do rush, and no. you can't really take objectives. If you're flight no. to moon, you're basically playing the long con. You're just waiting for this Slark to become that beast that's going to run uphill and just destroy his towers. It's possible to buy Aghanims on Razor, but it's really not the play. Like, that's not really what you want. It's about the BKBs too, right? You can see Centaur and Slark have one queued up, Razor as well. And once you pick those up, all of a sudden the Gambit lineup, they're, they don't have anything left. There's nothing they can actually do to stop you. But it does mean that that will be the timing that I think you're going to need to pretty much win the game on yeah. if you're flat to move. There's so, so many peaks in this game. That's what I enjoy as well. Like sometimes you're watching a game and you're thinking, all right, once this guy gets a blink BKB, the game's over. You know? But in this game, it's not like that. You have multiple heroes that can build multiple items at uh, any given point in the game that will change the way that game is played. Mm -hmm. Like you have these four staffs that are go going to be huge versus Slark right now and the nice stalker on the other side. Then you have these BKBs that are going to be huge versus both the Storm and the Night Stalker. Mm -hmm. But once that Night Stalker gets, uh, like, let's say, a nullifier later on with this blink, then you, you're just muted for that duration yep. and you won't even be able to BKB. You got a Bloodstone on Storm now. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty big spike. Actually, Nike's going for Radiance after Armored. He's got to be careful. Centaur's thinking about nice Rage. Well played. He knew it was coming. He, had, he could feel it. Spidey senses and all that. Yeah, every single time. Centaur tried to jump on top of him. Nyx rages out and just gets away, ports to the base. GPK just split pushing, ratting, some would say, all the time, making them think about defending this tier 2, while the, the thing that they want to be doing is actually attacking and hunting these kills. But look at FNG leading the charge behind him, two big boys, Vampire and Night Stalker. Shisui, Scott. Will it be enough? It's question FNG channeling the ultimate. Storm zipping in far. Bang! Gets one. That's a Bloodstone charge. Now on to Slayer. It's a huge target. You take him out, suddenly Dream is free to play Dota however he wishes, and he just gives up. Another, another stun. One. And another, another charge. One. Oh, yeah. man. Uh, fly to Moon. What? Your two cores are not there. And yeah, they were trying. Oh, no. A regen rune still for GPK. That's as, about as efficient as you can hope for. He's going to get a ton of farm off this. It's just this fast paced movement by FNG, smoking up these two uh, heroes, Shaker and Night Stalker, and moving towards top while Storm was showing on the bottom lane. So they did not expect. Uh, oh, oh, BKB oh, is there, though. But they get the bounty. That's what counts. He has a force as well. Oh, what a play. Dude, this vampire guy, he. On point, right? On point every series we've watched so far. Yeah. A big part of the reason that this team hasn't lost a game. They are cruising on the road to Germany. They can just win this last one, closing it out. But GBK, 17 Bloodstone charges already, 2,000 gold. Look at the odds shift, man. Gambit were underdogs seven minutes ago. All of a sudden, heavy, heavy favorites, and I'm not surprised. They're just playing on a different level. GPK with his Bloodstone charges. Doing really well in the storm. They just need BKBs on Flight to Moon. Once they have these BKBs, not only on Slark, but on Razor, perhaps they can start fighting Centaur as well. And it might be a little bit too late. Look at the, the Vampire has four staff moving towards the Shadow Blade, but Shotchlow, he has a present inside. 
And Vampire, he has a force if he wants to echo. Oh, not yet, but Storm is in. He oh, jumps nice in. Play. Going for Stark. He doesn't have the BKB, remember. He's got to be careful. Another FNG ultimate just not being cancelled. Dunk used on Razor, sure. Like, FNG, that's a full he's ult. He's destroying them. He's killing everyone. The Stark BKB is finally up, but he's got to overlap it with the ultimate. Nice silence from Shaklo. Will ensure that the Centaur doesn't get that stun off. And now they're looking to pursue. Storm gets another great stun. Slark, he got, is that a Glimmer Cape? Yes, yep. so he's not going to take damage. In fact, he will survive, but well, open wounds from so far away. That's four kills. Fall. Four kills and Storm has been involved in every single one. 21 Bloodstone charges on him. Radiance obviously com completed on Dream as he pushes forwards towards this tier two. This is an easy tower for them to back out away from because yeah, they're respawning, Undying is respawning. And they're pretty low, all of them, with that Echo Slam used already. But the, the way FNG played that fight, just manned up, stand, stood in the middle of it, popped that ultimate. Right? Dream, you have to be careful here. Or pops does that, he? No, pops that Rage. And before that, we, before that uh, Basher is up on Arc Dota, he definitely does not have to be too careful. Oh, I love this. And immediately, they're going to make a play. Mm. Love it. He didn't even TP base. He TP'd to Shashlo. He's going to pop ulti. They're going to find Shashlo. Oh, he's just dead. Tombstone goes down, but it's down on the high ground. That's going to die soon. That could be Rush as well, but that would be always want to fly first as they do take him Dude. down. Arc Dotes as well is in problems. Shaker is chasing him together with that nice Stalker. He pops his ulti on time, but he's AoE silenced. He does that have that BKB. BKB yeah. Going to pop it, but I mean, what can he really do here? Maybe kill FNG. Nah, but too dude, much. They're chasing him, and another open wounds onto Slayer. He's going to be very slow very soon. There's way too many things that they have to save themselves versus Snark yep. right now. There's a Force Staff, obviously breaks the leash. There's Solar Crest as well. You pop it on a target, he's attacking. Suddenly, he doesn't deal nearly as much damage. And uh, yeah, Gambit is just outplaying them at the moment. Shisui, in particular, needs that BKB ASAP. And you can see the line drawn by FNG. They place wards. They're going to need a lot of stars this nighttime. Already 10k gold lead. It's so important if you can get aggressively positioned because it cuts your travel distance to other lanes. Mm -hmm. You can half. The more aggressive you can position, the better it is to control. Slayer and is running straight into in. them. Yeah, infest bomb. Love it. Gone. Pick up Dream. Get your kill. GPK is like, wait for me. I want those charges. Oh, I man. always want to fly. How you doing, buddy? Isn't it great to play a storm when you're so far ahead right oh, now? Yeah. 24. Another regen. As Why well. does he always have region rune as well? Every time he zips in, there's that region still ticking on him. Yeah, Gambit just they're just better, man. They're just they are certainly looking like the best team in CIS at the moment. Of course, we don't know what VP's got in mind, but for now, Gambit seem like or do we? Just a tier above. She's sweet. Uses he doesn't that link. have a BKB. FNG yeah. can channel to me. I mean, this one, th just, this feels like razor. it's in the books. Yeah. They're, they are, uh, they just don't know what to do. Gambit obviously feeling themselves. They're thinking about GPK. They're going to get him, but he has that bloodstone. they got to be careful. He's going to heal himself almost to full. Oh, and Vampire, you can feel it. He's not going to get the dunk off, but maybe that'll be enough to kill the Centaur. For now, just looking to engage. Four on five opportunity. Slayer coming in from this side. GPK moves forward. Will he be able to find the leaf? No, he will not. And he's stuck on the low ground, now in some trouble. Lonely stays near his team. Could be okay. Arc Dota pops the ultimate, diffuses along the storm, but now Life Stealer pops out. Disrupt. Oh, I don't know if you wanted to do that. Yeah, now your Slark is going to get silenced. It. Oh, God. Slayer. That disruption. Oh, that's going to be five. That's going to be five dead if they find him. Yeah, he's trying to run away in the opposite direction, but Shock Chlo knows what's up, and that should be five. A full team wipe as he jumps on top of Slayer. He turns towards FNG to try and take him down at least, but that disruption killed his Slark. Slark maybe had a chance of surviving that as he leapt onto the high ground, ran towards the hills, but his old, old friend Shadow Demon disrupts him, stops him for a while, Allows Night Stalker to get on top of him to use that AoE silence, and Slark dies. Mm. All four bounty runes go in the way of Gambit as well. Yeah, they're just in full control of this game. Also, Manta completed um, by the Snikes. Can't uh, deal with him anymore in uh, any way. Dude, this storm is so farmed. And the Ags, man, the Ags is such a crazy item in this game. <laughs> and I, I, we point once again the, the item timings. I just feel like Fly to Moon, if they had hit. Their timings, they could have won both of these games. Previous game, you had BKB, AC Alchemist at like 18 minutes, just go. This game, Razor doesn't have a BKB, but your Slark does? How does that make any sense? Atos, Atos was just what did them in. They felt like they needed uh, the catch, and I don't blame them. They did need the catch. 
but they needed the BKB on Razor yeah. more. Someone else like, can handle the catch. That's the yeah. problem. You can't. You just need a BKB on Razor. That's the timing. That's when you can look to get aggressive. He cannot play Dota in this game without one. And we've seen it. He's died, what, eight times? Most of them just to 100 to zero initiations. You got to be the guy. Like, you deny the life stealer's game. I think the whole the, game. He, his, his mindset was, I have a Shadow Demon. If they jump me, he'll disrupt me. And after that, we can fight. And we'll have enough cash to take down the storm with this Atos. However, sadly for him, by the time Shadow Demon uses that disruption on him, he's already dead. He's like 5% HP. And he dies as he pops out of that Shadow World. So overall, Gambit is just playing really quickly. And it's not like Fly to Moon. Like, this is Tier 2, Tier 3. They are making mistakes. But it's not like they're making mistakes all over the place. It's just that they're being punished every time they do so. They are going to scan him out. They know Gambit's in the pit, but I don't know if Gambit mind under the circumstances. They're well, just zerking it a, down. There's a stampede. They can oh, jump in. Ark comes in. He's going to have to BKB preemptively. He gets it off, but he's already half HP. GBK takes the Aegis and FNG once again. This huge ultimate coming in. Flow goes in. Flow goes out. H doesn't even get a chance to play Dota. Slayer moving in. Shaq, Ark. will he be able to finish Ark? Whoa, one more hit would have done him in, but just not enough. Flow now. It's GG. It's, it's over. Grats. Well played to Gambit. They 2-0 the series, the finals, and the whole entire tournament. Flawless victory. Flawless victory after victory from Gambit Esports. A stack that's completely new in the CIS. Just congratulations to the boys. Congratulations to FNG for being able to captain a completely new squad into qualifying for a big tournament without dropping a single match. But it, they looked good. That's the thing. It wasn't like, uh, I mean, obviously the teams are a bit shaky. Good, yeah. But... Gambit just didn't make mistakes. Um, you know what's, what's the thing? If they looked good with some drafts, but with some they didn't, I'd understand. They're a, f they're a new stack, you know, and I think, okay, they're going to go to ESL, but they won't do much. But this stack looked good in every situation. That's the thing. Like, they're playing versus lineups that are, versus drafts that are stronger, that yeah. should win, but they still outplay them. They still make these big plays, like tier one plays, where they stall the game properly, play the team fights properly, and get out on top somehow. That's how it's done. That's how it's done, For the boys. last time, do keep in mind, folks, that at ggbet.com you can ensure your bet with the code SAVE, S-A-V-E, no rejections, no cues, no business hours. And this, of course, was the ggbet Hamburg Invitational. Congratulations to Gambit. They are going to be going to Germany. We'd show you the bracket, but you already know what it was. It was just Gambit doing, just winning. Everything. Um, yeah, you know what? Take a look at it anyway. They 2 0 positive guys. They 2 0 fly to moon. Fly to moon, grueling challenge throughout this competition. They were able to beat Windstrike. I think a surprise and an upset, but alas. Gambit take it anyway. Oh, any last words on this, Lizard? Yeah, congratulations been fun? again. It has been fun. Congratulations to FNG. It was a joy to watch him. Always consider yeah. him to be one of those better captains in the CIS scene. Nice Wait. guy, too. I'm a big yeah. fan. Uh, he uh, Nice hair. As well. Used to. Used to have. He's, yeah. uh, I was just talking to him about it. I'm like, why'd you get the hair? He's like, man, it's so much work. Need so to wash it. Need to mm -hmm. dry it. Yeah. So, uh, I understand. You're a Dota player, you know? He's got, he's got shit to do. He's got to win tournaments, all right? That's how it goes. Um, that's pretty much it from us. Lizard, Kyle. Uh, this was the, hum, the GG Ben Hamburg Invitational. It was fun. From Kiev. Thank chilling you here for at the watching. Studios. Shout out to the production behind the scenes. Thanks for everything. Joy to work with as always. Um, yeah, I guess that's that's just it. So I've never had to end one of these before. So to close, I'd like to just say to remember to be kind to people, everybody. I'm glad that you tuned Love in. Love each other. Shout out to all of you guys that watched this entire tournament. I know you were itching for some Dota. I certainly was. Uh, we'll be back eventually. Very soon. I'm sure. In Dota just a never really weeks. goes anywhere. There's always something happening on the weekend. You guys stay happy. Stay kind. Uh, have a good night. That's uh, it. That's Get it. us out. Okay, bye.